Yeah, so let me give you a quick market update. We, uh, we actually just got the market stats last night. So I was diving, digging in through that. And that's for, so I was able to look at the entire year, which was good. And man, I mean, it's amazing. I even, we got on that text thread last night. I hit Dylan, Dylan and Heidi and Peter up and was like, hey man, this is what I'm seeing over here. What you got? You know, and it was, so it was a fun little conversation we had via text message to uh, kind of understand the differences in the island. But for, um, for Oahu, nothing has changed. Um, there's three main points that, that you got to get out of Oahu here. Our median home price is a million fifty. That's pretty much been steady for the last couple of months doing that. Um, condo prices are at median prices about 485. But the three big things are there's record low inventory. There's still a lot of people, buyers in the market. So heavy demand, low supply, and, um, and, and the speed of sale is at record pace too. So they're moving quickly, which is, let's see, two out of three homes are selling for more than the list price four out of ten condos are selling for more than the list price so the main thing you got to understand here is if you're a seller great time to sell call me up let's let's talk strategy because you you know you'll do re really well in this market if you're a buyer you better be prepared you need to get your ducks in a row you need to have a strategy uh, especially in this market and be working with the right people expect competition expect that you're probably going to have to be paying over market price um, and keep an eye on interest rates because they're starting to creep up but i don't the the crazy thing is is we were trending at number of active listings for homes at around 430 to 450. the holiday months dried that up even more where it, i think we we're at like three 315 315 homes actively on the market right now now that's going to speed up now that we get in the new year, but that's ridiculously low. It's half what we were at at the last at the height of the last market in 2006. So there's just very little inventory and a lot of buyers in the market. I mean, that number, I mean, Dylan's going to give us some real context of that number of 300 <laughs> uh, really going to help us out with it. But just think about this. I mean, at, at just a, a armchair clueless guy level like me, 300 listings. I mean, there's 300 homes for sale in an urban area of a million people mm -hmm. a million people 300 that's the context dylan uh give us the give us the uh, the, the some more context and and how do you respond to that that question that you know when will the market chill out so what now what's going to be interesting uh, uh before dylan is going to be how the interest rates are going to curb that back right because interest rates by definition will be raising prices but anyway so dylan what's going on on the big island and what's your take on when the market's going to chill what's been happening same, same as everywhere else. It is not chilling out at all. Um, but for context, this, this is this is interesting, right? Less than 400 homes on Oahu available. There are 406 homes, give or take, around 400 any given day on the Big Island. So we have more homes on the Big Island with 20% the population that Oahu has. And so that's, it's crazy for us, but it's even crazier to think about that, putting that into perspective with Oahu. We only have 54 condos on the market right now, and that's usually in the 300 range. And so context wise, there's usually over a thousand homes on the market. So we're extremely low inventory that has continued. We saw at the latter part of last year inventory go up a little bit, but um, it's 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 pretty much bumped up a little bit and then stayed kind of of around 400 450 for homes any given time and those include a lot of you know we have our our funky market in kona the the, the rural areas where they're unpermitted homes and things like that so those aren't even that's not even really representative of like actual homes and then there's also we have that super high-end luxury market where you're talking like five million plus and a big chunk of those you know 25 of those homes are in that in that market so the regular home market is extremely constrained on any given day in the Kona market, there's less than 10, sometimes there's six homes on the market that are under a million dollars. So I don't know when, you know, we were talking about supply catching up with demand. The only real supply we have on the big island anyway is resale, right? We have very little new development outside of the, the, the luxury market. And so the only way you're going to have more supply is if more people start putting their homes on the market. And if people don't decide not to do that and they're just going to sit in their homes and they don't want to move, um, I don't know when that supply catches back up and we're so far behind right now. It literally could take years, you know, pen, unless there's some crazy catastrophe in the economy or something, which nobody can predict, but under normal circumstances, you know, going forward, I don't see any.